Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Shadows of Adam. Last time, we continued on deeper into the depths of the Wraith Abyss, all the way down until Save told us we're nearly at the end. This time, we're heading onward to see what awaits us in the final section. And apparently what awaits us is the three crystal shards. Which is a boss fight? Okay. Well, something tells me these guys, since they're, you know, these crystal types, are not going to be super susceptible to physical attacks. I'm going to go with my tried and true method of buffing Azzy and hitting them with everything I can. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's start with mind reading, you guys. Vernal, Sanguine, and Penumbral Gatekeepers. So, double up as he. And what do you have to say? <laughs> Not saying anything, and it says 12,000 HP. Magic, Fire Crush. Okay, yeah, so definitely good idea to use magic. Ooh, nice hit there. I really doubt any of them are going to say anything different, but I kind of want to mind read all of them. And I think what I want to do as well, as he's just basically going to be doing Eclipse non-stop, I'm going to have Talon double up Kellen so that his little heals will be enough to keep us going. <laughs> I mean, I say little heals, he's actually healing decently well. Oh, you only have 9,000 HP. Okay. And, of course, weak to ice. Makes sense. It's actually... Yeah, and the middle one's taking a tiny bit more damage than the others. That's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, good. Well, Mirage at least didn't affect all three of them like those cutthroats in the Lost Cave. That's... You know, that's something. Hmm. Let's rally Azzy again because I want her to keep doing as much damage as possible. Eclipse, uh, actually no. Instead, let's give her Ether, so she can just keep doing Eclipse non-stop. And mine read the last one. Hmm. Talon, you... You bluff. Get some AP back. Eh, not surprised that they're using that. It actually a little surprised it took as long as it did for them to cast Eclipse. And yeah, you have 10,000 HP. So, they're all pretty similar to each other. Ah, this one, Chakra, is its special weakness. Oh, we've almost got the middle one down. And <laughs> next turn, it's gone. All right. I think Azzy's, yeah, Azzy's double up has worn off, so. Ooh, what do I wanna do here? Um, You've got, you've taken a fair bit of damage. Let's toss a spirit punch at this guy. And, although that truly might not be needed. Oh, great. Of course, you keep uh, miraging the different people. Yeah, Spear Punch not really needed from him. But hey, heal some HP anyways. Oh, one down. Oh, of course it evaded it. Darn it. Okay, also this, that leech is actually a really cool effect. And Kellen toss another cheer up, just just to be safe. Not that it really matters. Uh, and you know what? Let's toss out some physical text just to see if we even can. Okay, yeah, so you, you can toss some physical attacks, though they do next to nothing. 
Oh, that evasion is killing me. No, don't do that. Alright, you know what? I really want to make sure as he just gets rid of them. Oh, I can't use Eclipse. Um, fine. Flare. Toss that out. Uh, Supplex on you. And... Oh, you're silenced, actually, Talon. I guess it's a good thing I got those double-ups when I did. Nice hit! 2,000 damage! And they're gone! Hey, 15,000 experience! Well, hello! We got a weapon for Azzy. Probably not as good as the candy staff she's got. Let's take a look. Yeah, not nearly as good magic, but gives her high attack, which I don't care about. So, heal up, and journey even further down. Ooh, this is really ominous looking. Can we explore around the side? Nothing around there. Probably nothing to the right either. Nope. Alright, in we go. And there's Orazio, finally. Uh, this is not good looking. Snakes! The Wraith Gate. Death's Door. Azzy, are you okay? No, I hate this place. Azzy. I want to leave. Azrael. Azrael. Help. Interesting. What is he looking at over there? Oh! The Wraith Crystal. Uh, it's coming this way. Watch out! Ezreal, get back. Stay back! Stay back, you awful thing! I said... Stay back! Oh, that can't be good. Ten years. Ten long years. You've done well, Azrael. Better late than never. The power of the Wraith world is ours. Arazio, we've got to... we've got to get rid of it! You said it yourself. The whole world will burn. Only in the wrong hands. In our hands, a new era will be born. What? No! We can't control it! Don't you understand? We are dust. And I won't be dust. Not when I can become the wind. A wind in the darkness. A wind of death. Of life. This power is our deliverance from death. Feel it, Azrael. Feel it in your blood. No, I hate it. I've always hated it. Are you still afraid of the dark? I know what I feel. Ungrateful, foolish child. Did you never learn? How you grieve me. Touch her again, and we'll see about grief, Orazio. Ah, the favorite son of the Witches of Solom. 
and you, their butcher. A happy accident. It wasn't just them. Very unfortunate. That's darkness for you. That's life, Curtis. Death, in their case. Shall I show you death, too? The door is open. Not for long. Father. Well, what a surprise. Here to save me, boy. Look at you, on the ground. You're no good to anyone. I... Go back to Adam where you belong, boy. Alright, but I'm taking you with me. He's not kidding, Orazio. Come then, save me. It's time for... Holy crap! We're fighting Orazio! And... He... Is nasty looking. He also doesn't have a health bar. Um... I have a feeling I want to use magic on him. Let's toss out... I think Wraith Storm will be fun to toss out. Also, we're mind reading him. Double up as he. And... Kata was a... Holy cow. Uh, he can't mind read him. That's not good. You never learn, Curtis. And I'm guessing now that Wraith Storm is not going to do anything against him. Oh, no, I was wrong. It is doing some damage. I just hope that we don't die next turn. Well, that's some pretty decent damage, actually. Um... Wondering if just cheering up will be enough. Let's hope he doesn't do that massive attack and... Storm... Um, I've got tons of elixirs. Let's make sure as he's full healed up after she does that. And... Double up Kellen so he does the cheer up spell twice. You know, let's at least do some healing here. And, ooh, well, I'm really glad I used the elixir on Azzy then. Hit him as hard as you can. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, boy. Feel like this is gonna be a tough battle. But so far, we're at least holding our own. Um, Kellen, cheer up again while you're doubled up. Uh, Azzy's no longer doubled up. That ran out. That sucks. Okay, Wraith Storm again. Uh, Curtis, you. I've got tons of high ethers. Um, high ether elixir. Let's use uh, high ether on Talon and have. We can't double up again. He's gotten too low. Okay. Uh, I doubt Poison Shift will work, but let's give it a shot. Just in case. S somewhat decent damage, even if he didn't actually poison him. Oh, that's not too bad. Really, that first attack was just the nasty one. Right. Now, let's see. As he's low on AP. Kettle heal again. As he. Elixir. Hi, Ether yourself. Curtis. Ascension. Make you super strong for this. Oh, I probably should have. 
doubled up on Kellen instead, since he's actually doing something that matters to do twice this turn. Oh, he still got double up. Never mind. Well, that's good. Oh, he used a similar attack that Curtis used. That was kind of interesting. Okay. We're doing alright, I think. I'm just gonna keep laying on the Wraith Storms as long as I can. Uh, you... Well, why not? Just fight. Just deal some damage there. Uh, kill him, double up. <laughs> Kellen, our sword fighter with the best sword in the game, is our dedicated healer. It's kind of funny. But then again, I mean, it's a cheap heal on everyone. And we just don't need Rejuvenate to keep everyone topped off. Oh, her magic's gotten low again. Maybe I'll have Curtis give her an apple. Which, it occurs to me, it didn't hit me until just now that an apple is what you give to make her magic stronger. Because there's the whole thing of witches and apples, I guess. So, here we go. And let's do Wraith Storm again. And so she can keep it. Look, I'll give her give her an apple now. And tell him give her high ether. Though it occurs to me a regular ether would have sufficed. We're doing pretty good so far. I have no idea how much HP this guy has. Oh. Freaking Talon. Okay, well that's alright. Not too bad. This just means oh, oh, we have a different sprite. That means he's getting low. Come on, as he keep hitting him. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we want to do now? You know what? I'm going to have him rally. And Curtis gets to use a Mega Potion on Talon to keep him alive. Yes, I feel it now. Oh, no, no. He basically used... Oh, really? You silenced Azzy? Darn it. Okay. Who do we want? I want Kellen to use a remedy on Azzy. You're not going to be able to do anything right now, so Ether yourself. No, Ether Talon. He needs more. Hi, Ether Talon. <laughs> because. Now, Talon's going to cure her and... Let's give... And I don't know what I want to use on him. Let's buff her magic up one more time, because once we cure her, she's going to be able to hit him very hard. And time for an elixir. Make sure Talon uses it, because he's the fastest. I realize I didn't need to use a remedy, I guess, with the elixir. Well, that's not bad at all. Okay, and toss another cheer up, keep everybody topped off. Gonna have to get rid of his shield. Um, you know, no, I, I've got an idea. I'm gonna instead rally Azzy. I want her to be really strong here. Because Curtis is gonna use Sacrifice to refill HP and AP for everyone. Now. That's not bad at all. Okay, Azzy, hit him hard. Aw, oh, sued for... Really? You jerk. Let's see, how much damage do I actually do with it? Okay, well, with those buffs... Oh, did we... We didn't quite get rid of his shield, darn it. Oh, I was really hoping we'd get rid of the shield with the first one so that we could... Although, that might still be doing health damage. 
Well, I say let's keep buffing up. Um, make Azzy do as much damage as she possibly can. Curtis, you keep yourself topped off. This could be really good. Buffer twice. I'm glad we got that candy gear because Azzy has become just this the best damage dealer we can do. Um, what does Curse do? Never seen that before. Well, hopefully we won't have to worry about it because all the damage she's doing. Oh, oh, I think she beat him. Yes. I saw that 5% AP and I had a feeling. Um, are we getting a... Oh my gosh, he's dissolving. Classic way to get rid of a villain in an RPG. Also, I love this backdrop. What's going on now? Oh, don't leave me hanging, game. So, you came to save me, a son. Why? Father? I remember, Kellen. I remember being a scared little boy abandoned by my parents. What have I done? We're the same. Just two scared little boys. Fighting like hell. I'm not scared anymore, Father. I'm not either. Forgive me, Kellen. I was even weaker than I thought. What's it doing? The door. It's drawing power from the Wraith world. It's trying to devour us. It mustn't. We'll meet again, my son. And I had a feeling Arazio would shove it through the door. Kellen, don't! Uh, uh-oh. Maybe you were right about that crystal holding this place together. Father. It's too late. We've got to close the gate while we can. No, we're not shutting him in. He'll come back. Kellen, he can't. The crystal has taken him. No, you can't know that. It's true. We're not abandoning him. All right. Then I'll wait with you till the end. I'm sorry, Father. Some doors should stay closed. Star light. Oh, and I'm telling and as you're glowing. If there is light in your heart, then the darkness cannot hold you. Wow. Uh, oh, Melville, what are you up to? Ah! 
He's running away from a little slime. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And the slime's like, I just want to be friends, dude. We've done it. Wow. I'm guessing here we've got a little bit of epiloginess going on, seeing what's up in certain areas and certain characters. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so... I guess my you know, like thoughts on this game are... I mean, I loved this game. It truly brought back what was really special about old school RPGs. I mean, beautiful art style, fantastic design for the areas, the enemies, and the biggest thing I have to say is the game's difficulty. So many of the best classic RPGs you think of, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, when you look back on them, they're actually kind of easy. I feel like the balance of the difficulty in this game was spot on, which is really hard to achieve. You go through pretty much right up until the end, you don't have anywhere to grind or really any need to, and in fact, as I saw with the before the pirate battle, sometimes you don't even have the chance to grind. And the difficulty is designed so that as you go through, you should be properly set up to take care of the enemies, but it won't be just incredibly easy or incredibly hard. You just have to be smart about it. Also, I love the little wraithling. That is so hard to do in an RPG to find that balance, and they just nailed it which I think is awesome. It's so rare to see it that good. So, I mean, I can't stop saying the praise of that. Um, the music, I mean, I don't know what else I could say. It is fantastic. Uh, it's got a real charm to it, I, especially the boss battle when, um, or it's not boss battle, the boss victory music. That was just... It was so catchy, it always stayed in my head after I beat a boss for a little while. Oh, um... You know, the, the side quests, I thought they were kind of fun. This was a kickstarted game, so some of the side quests were designed or initiated by backers, and I thought they were kind of fun. The Titans and Raider quest I thought was really well thought out, and the Disaster Cake boss fight was just funny. Uh... Overall, really just so well done all around. I cannot wait to play through this some more. Uh, oh, little kid running out. Oh, the, the old man, like, get out of my house. <laughs> People always passing through his house. I also feel like they did a good job when we got to the end of the game and had the opportunity to revisit towns. Like, some things didn't change, but some things did. It was kind of a... a cool touch there to see how they did that. And it was kind of fun just occasionally going like, Oh, I just found something random for going back to the first town we started the game in. If only we'd picked up that armor before we left, it would have made everything so much easier. <laughs> oh... Zack and Nick there, hanging out with the Magician. Um, I, I gotta give a huge thank you to all of the guys over at Something Classic, the people who made the game, because they've actually been hugely helpful. They helped provide some art assets to make this LP look a little bit better, um, fonts and stuff like that. They gave some great feedback as I was going, and why are you slamming your head into a wall, buddy? <laughs> Upset you lost at cards, I guess. Um, and it's just... They did, like, a fantastic job making the game and keeping in touch and, like, helping promote this LP when it first started, especially. So a huge thank you to them. I've never encountered 
a uh, game development crew who was so quick to be in touch with an LPR and be happy to help provide information and help out. Um, they didn't give me any information as far as what to expect in the game, which I loved going through it blind. But, oh! Oh, the right thing! Oh, did he steal a mushroom from her again? Oh, that face. Now, I've got something special. I actually have a bonus Steam key for this game that I want to give away. And to do that, I want to give it to the- Oh, they're playing in the water! That's funny! Oh, and Laura Beth and the Wraithly ran by. What the heck? Okay, so for the bonus Steam key, what I want to do is the first person who leaves a comment in the uh, comment section of this video saying what their favorite part of the game is, I'll send you a free Steam key to have a copy of this game. But even after I've given that away, I'd love to hear your comments about, you know, if you've played the game as well, what you thought of it, uh, if you haven't, you know, what your favorite part of the LP was, because this was easily one of the most fun projects I've done. And I just, I loved it and I can't wait to play through this game again on some free time and just try things a little differently. Maybe try some challenges of using different spells, uh, see what kind of fun stuff I can figure out. Apparently there are at least some purple chests that I missed, so I'll have to go back through and see if I can't find all of those. And that's really all I had to say about it. I loved the game, and I highly, highly recommend, if you like RPGs, to take the time to give this a try for yourself. You will not be disappointed. That's going to do it for this project. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, and I'll see you guys next time.